Moving on here with the AMX. I've got a big rusty spot here. Another one down there. And what I did was cut me two pieces of metal. It's uh, the right curve here. And uh, welded them together on the back and on the front. It uh, still needs a little work here. But this will replace this. And uh, I've got it here on this curve. See, this one fits real good. <coughs> so I've got a lot of crooked stuff down in here. But anyway, the curve is good on this piece. Now what I need to do is take off uh, this bondo and stuff here, clean this up, mark this, and uh, cut it. And then I'll have to separate these two pieces because I got an inner fender in there. And, uh, and I'll weld this piece here in it. So this should uh, should fix it. We're still trying to do good sheet metal work here. Uh, there's a quite a bit of secrets here on making this piece. Well, not secrets, but uh, you just tack it and uh, weld it real slow so you don't get any heat in it. Uh, it took me half a day to make this. Uh, I burned a few holes in it. That's why it's kind of rough here. Uh, my next piece will be better. But uh, anyway, so that's what I'm going to do is clean this up and mark it. And try to cut this out of here. And weld this piece into the back fender. I ground this all down and marked it with a with a felt marker uh, because this is sticking out too far uh, my metal is going to go past this mark but I'm going to cut to the inside line of this mark and uh, I should have made my piece bigger now that I'm looking at it I only got like an inch here of good metal and a uh, Looks like I still got some rust right in there, but uh, we'll cut this out and see what we can do. I right, got this cutting out, and uh, you can see the plug welded here in a few places. One's right there. Uh, just tack welded into the defender so I'm going to try to get this off of here and uh, try to cut these plugs best I can get this inner fender in some kind of shape that I can at least prime it I'm gonna have to this is rusted way up to here I'm gonna have to cut this I'll have to make another another piece up top it's still got a lot of rust and stuff in it. Uh, it looks like I did all right down here on the bottom. But that's what I'm going to do now. Is I'm just trying to to work this stuff around and get these plug wells cut out of here without destroying the curve here, because this is what's going to maintain my my patch in here. Uh, there was a lot of bondo on it, so I'll just try to do the best I can and see what happens. Well, I got that uh, fender piece off, and it looks like I'm. This is fitting pretty good here. I got a good edge there, and it's overlapping a little here, which is what I want. I don't want it to buckle and cave in so I can 
start tacking this thing in and uh, work my way around to the to the back here it's matching pretty good down here on the bottom I'll have to push all this in but anyway I'm going to start at one end and uh, get this all straight and flush with the edges and everything like I want it and then tack it I'm gonna have to drill some holes in this this edge here because I want to want to butt weld it or uh, I don't know what you call it when you weld through a hole but I need to clean this all up and get the rust out of it at least put some primer and stuff on it before I go to welding this in, so I got to drill some holes in this. I'll probably looks like I had about four or five in it, but every couple inches, and uh, then this piece here, I think I can probably just grind out of way where I need to, or cut me another slot and use a small piece in it. Uh, I don't know how good this is be. I probably should replace the half of the fender, but I don't have the money or the inclination right now to do that. So for now, this is gonna gonna patch this hole. All right, I primed this up and I took a scribe and I scribed where the edge of this is against this smooth edge here and uh, I was watching a guy called Fitzy's restorations or something and he was saying you overlap it and uh, tack it here and uh, that'll keep it from warping where you actually have an overlap and then you cut it out and weld it after that uh, I'm not sure how that would work or not but uh, I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to grind it off to the scribe line and uh, just try tacking it and use a screwdriver to make sure that everything is straight and uh, then I've drilled some holes in here for plug wells and uh, then I'm going to once I get this on and everything is straight then I'm going to plug weld it into that inner fender with some clamps and uh, take my time keep it cool and hopefully I'll have a, a good piece in here we'll see but that's what I'm going to do is grind this off to that scribe line because uh, right now if I See when I marked it I didn't have I marked it with the inner part of the fender still in it. So I knew I'd have some extra metal there. It's better to have a little more than not enough. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to cut this out of here and see what it looks like. Well there it is tacked in. I just uh put little welds in it every couple inches I've got my uh, plug welds tacked in uh, it looks uh, fairly straight it's awfully low right here part of that was because uh, this it was dented in and uh, 
GoPro and my thing should have had a little bit of a curve on it coming out this way. But anyway, that's a pretty solid piece of metal. And I'll just continue to <coughs> wire brush it off. Use a little tiny beat, little tiny uh, wells until I can get it all pretty much welded up. Then I'll grind it off and try it and then patch my holes, try it again. Well, there it is. It's getting dark. I got it welded up pretty good. I haven't finished. I just ground it down. Uh, but looking at it here, looks pretty straight, but looks like I've got it caved in right in this area. And I still got to do that other piece up here that shouldn't be so bad but I can see it's going in and out so nowhere near what I wanted it but I can I can fill this up with Mondo what I should have done was pull that fender out because <coughs> the curve is pretty right when I look here, this all looks pretty good. But I think what happened with this fender was turned in a little too much. I could have made that wrong. But anyway, it's a, got a nice arch to it here. Look like it might be a little bad right there on top. It matches this one pretty good. So, not the job I wanted to do, but uh, I think by the time I get it all bonded up and sanded, it'll look fine. I just wish it would have been a lot better. See la vie. Done for this one. Or mostly done. I'll work on it some more later. But at least it's not got a rust hole right now. Well, here's my patch. I did this top piece. You can see here this is much better than this place here. And I went to the other side. Anyway, this side looks pretty good. You can see the well down in there. I decided to make a bigger patch. Cut that one out. And I've got two pieces here cut. And I'm going to make the patch much bigger, but I'm going to just start tacking this one together right here, working around. The last one I put a 90 degree angle right here on it, but I can see that, uh, you know, that's much more than 90. So, I just uh, clamped this on here against the, against the body of the car, and I'll just start tacking this piece around so I'll have the right angle of the... Uh, welding to this uh, inside trim. Well, this time I clamped everything on the uh, existing curve of the body. And uh, it's real straight right here. Straight down in there. Uh, this will still move around a little bit, but at least it'll I can hold it here until I can get a few more tacks in this and uh, try to make it as straight as I can. So I think this is probably good enough. I think I'm going to put one more clamp right here to hold it up flush. Now there's a few more tacks in it. It's uh, cool to the touch. 
kind of trick to this and not get too hot and warp it. So this should be uh, good enough for now. I just tacked it up here a little bit. And now I can uh, clean this up, run a few more tacks in here. Looked like I had good penetration on those tacks. And uh, then I'll weld this on the inside. And then I can finally flip it over here and grind this and weld a good bead on the outside. So, just move on. All right, here's a little while later. This is all welded up inside and kind of ground off. It's good and solid. I have a couple little spots there I probably need to patch. I've got it drilled for the plug wells. And uh, it's going on like this matches real good right there in the corner. I've got to kind of twist it here a little and it'll be flush there. You can see there that in the welding I got it twisted just a little but uh, it's good enough now to mark the outside of this uh, pattern I've got in the In the sheet metal. Looks like got a little dent right there. But uh, it'll be good enough. I can weld that in and uh, I should be good for fixing this patch. I've cleaned that up and primered it. got into it with my cutoff tool a little getting that plug weld out but uh, I think I should be all right when I, I've got plenty of plug wells here I got five of them every couple inches that should be enough to pull in and pull in anything I've got out so now I just mark this and uh, cut this panel out and I should be good to go well I got it pretty much trimmed now I'm just going to use a, a little flapper disc you can see there this one's a little a little, a little high or the holes a little low so I'm just going to take a flapper disc and start trimming this piece until it fits the hole that I've cut there perfectly and then I'll start tacking it in. Now well, there it is tacked in. Uh, my dent here I just took the spot that was level and welded it. Uh, I'll try to pound this out. This body work on this was needing to be done and, but uh, problem I got into here is it looks like this uh, inner panel was kind of bent to start with and I'm not really matching up good here so I need to kind of either make another piece to blend this in you can see here that it's pretty uh, bent uh, maybe what I ought to do is just cut this right here to there and make another another patch I don't know it looks like my curve here is good I've uh, just pulled it in as far as I could and uh, butt welded it. Let's put a pair of vice grips here. I can pull it in just a little more on that last one. 
Yeah, see, not very much though. But even whatever little I can get in there is going to help. You can see it's pulling that whole panel in. So I'll try to get this as as good as I can. <coughs> I think the problem here is this got. You know, I got a pretty big dent right there where my finger is, and a lump here. So, and there was, you know, a quarter inch of body filler. So I imagine there's a there's a pretty big dent in there somewhere. And uh, so I'm going to try to to work on this. And, do a little hammering on it and see if I can get it kind of straight and then figure out some way of making me a yeah see my radius is not coming in good here now yeah well I'll try to make something to, to patch this up and uh, I'd like to get this all metal as much as I could and I'll continue to weld this after I fix this hole down here. And I'm not sure at the at the present moment what I'll do. Looks like I should beat it out from the inside. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this. I think it would be best if I just cut this out here where all this mess up is and uh, make me another panel just like this one and weld it in that'll be easier I can probably just bend a, a 90 degree angle anyway I'll, I'll fool around with this and see what I decide to do well I decided to do a couple things I cut this back a little I cut this open a little more and made me another patch and I've just uh, sort of rough tacked it in right now uh, it's burning through real easy so I'm gonna brush it off and put a little more weld on it I think I can grind it and it looks like I've got my my curve there pretty good and uh, it looks pretty straight down here so anyway I got that pretty much done uh, probably not as good as I would have liked well no probably it's nowhere near as good as I would have liked I think it's structurally sound and it'll be plenty strong when it's welded up and it has the right curve in it. So I'll just press on welding it. Well, there it is, pretty much done. So I'll weld it up, ground off, I got a pretty nice curve in it. Matches pretty decently right in there. Uh, looks like it's got a little dent right in the middle coming out. A little there. But uh, it's plenty solid. It's welded all the way through. I don't really have any holes in it. I have to finish plug welding this two or three holes up here in top. But uh, basically, it's it's done and it looks pretty good. Uh, squirt a little primer on it and uh, see what it looks like then. Well, I got a couple pin holes in it there. I need to weld up, and uh, of course it's got some dents in it 
I'll try to beat those out. I don't know how much of them I can reach from in here. But it looks pretty good from this side. And it's uh, basically all pretty straight right here. Of course, this would have been a whole lot better if this whole thing was sandblasted. And I beat it out straight to start with, but uh, as far as trying to get a, a rusted out hole repaired, that's a pretty good job. I give it about a 7 out of 10. Move on to the next piece. Well, I'm back to the other side here. This rusted out real bad. I've got it uh, knocked down roughly to the shape that it's supposed to be. I got that bondo kind of trimmed back. That's about an eighth of an inch there. It was a quarter inch down in here. But that looks like it's going to be fairly straight metal and it's matching up to the tail piece there. So and I'm going to try to form me a piece that uh, that basic shape <coughs> And then uh, try to put a patch in here. I don't know how how good this is going to be, but uh, I'll try to pound it out best I can. It looks pretty straight from here. They just put a lot of bondo on it. We'll see. 